Hello guys, so if you remember what we did in the last video, we made a player movement script, which we're going to add to today. If you don't have that yet, um, you should go watch that. If you're just looking for a player rotation, I'll show you how to do that now, based on mouse input. So, we're not going to touch any of this. In fact, we're not going to use the fixed update uh, that we used in the last video for rotation, because it'll look choppy. So we want to do void update, which if you just made a script you already have. You can do this in a separate script if you'd like. Um, <clears throat> then we're going to do, we're going to make, well actually we need to make a couple variables first. Public float rotation speed. Since this is on the update function, I'm sure it's a little bit faster. And then we'll do, I like doing it this way, public float rot x for rotation on the x, um, the x value, public float rot y, public float rot z, whoops. And then down here, we will type in um <clears throat> rot x plus equals now keep in mind whenever you rotate on the x-axis um which would be looking up and down that's moving your uh, since that's moving your mouse up and down that'd be uh mouse y so it's the opposite of what you would think when you're writing this. So, input dot get. Um, I think it's access. And then by default, I think it's mouse zero. Times time. Dot delta. Time. Times rotation speed. Whoops. Might actually be mouse. Mouse. Why? Okay. You know what? I'll show you guys this too. So if you don't know, you can go in here. Build settings. Nope. Nope. Not here. You can go to edit project settings, input, see all of these, so mouse x here, so mouse x and mouse y, so yeah, y axis, I don't know if you actually need this, what, I don't know if you actually need this space or not, but we'll do it, we'll do it anyway, I'm sure it'll still work, then rot y, uh, see, when you move it left, that would give you a negative value. So, I think we need minus equals input dot get axis mouse x times time dot delta time times rotation speed. So this is already on our player, if you uh, followed the last tutorial. So um, I'm going to move the camera over to the player. So do a zero, drop it on the player, and then move it to the top of his head. We should probably move it up 0 0.5. And that should work. You should be able to see in the game. Or actually, we can just do it from here. Just select the main camera. Drag this over. Okay, maybe not. 
Maybe we need to take the space away. Oh, I know what we did. Man, I feel stupid. Oh, we did we did two things wrong here. One, we didn't set the rotation speed, which we'll do we'll just do we'll do one for now. And two we need to say rot or no no no. This or you don't even need that transform dot rotation equals alternian dot Euler and then you need an X or not Euler, not Euler. This is Euler. That's how you pronounce that Euler. Um rot X rot Y rot Z. So this will run every single frame and it should be smooth. So let's see, Not we're going to go here, we're going to lock it so we can watch these values, ignore this stuff, it's not important. And then we, oh he's moving, he's moving. So you can see he's turning to the right when I move the mouse to the left. And we're turning our whole capsule, which we don't want to do. Let me make sure that it's going the right way too. I might have to flip those. Yeah, I have to flip them. So we got these backwards. I knew I'd do that. Minus plus. Now this might be a little complicated to understand if you're newer to making games, but just just copy it. So. We'll go here to our main camera, and we're going to, no, oh, we locked it. Our main camera, make sure that tag main camera is on there, it's what we want. And then in here, instead of changing that value, which we don't want to, we'll set this to zero. We'll set this to zero, and then we'll say, um game object dot find with tag main camera whoops yeah yeah whoops dot get component and then you want a less than sign Well, actually, I don't even. We don't even need to do that. We'll do uh, dot transform dot rotation equals Lopternian dot Euler. Uh, we want to rot x. We want it to turn with the player, so rot y. We'll set this to zero, and that's perfect. So basically, it'll look through all your game objects in your scene for the specific object with this tag. And if you happen to put this tag on another object, it might also affect that. So you might want to just keep that to your main camera. Then we're changing the transform on it and the rotation, and setting it equal to this. And if you're wondering, I think quaternions stay between negative 1 and 1 and Euler's change it to degrees. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why they do that. I think it's something about it. Uh, quaternions can't continuously increase in... No, they can continuously increase in value, and Euler angles cannot. But anyway, that's all we need. And then if we go in here and test it now, it'd be nice if we had some objects to look at. So we can do that. Make a cube, set it in front of us. Maybe we'll create a material just to see it. 
create a folder materials and we'll probably use this in the future create material and then we'll just make a nice red whoops red and drop it on the cube we just placed so now you can clearly see it and if we press start we need to increase the movement speed so many steps rotation speed I guess we'll set that to 10 it's ridiculously slow it's still pretty slow do 100 why not So now you see we have a new problem. However, you see the player, he only turns on the Y axis. And the camera will go up and down and left and right, no issues. Now this new problem we've run into, if we keep moving down, you see we go full 360 degrees. So that is only a, an issue with our rot X because it it's only affected on the camera nothing else is moving on the axis so all we have to do is type before the statement but you can put it anywhere you can put it after it'll just update after it's too late basically so it's better to do it before if rot X is less than um, equal to We'll just do less than negative 90. Right, x equals negative 90. Else if rot right, x is greater than 90, rot right, x equals 90. So I believe that's what it would be, because if we look at the camera right now, it should be 0. And it will increase 90 degrees in either direction. So, yeah. So if we look down now, as you can see over here, it stops. Can't go any farther. If we move up, it stops. 90 degrees. And you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, obviously, you can't see yourself. You can see the shadow, but you can't see yourself. So if you want to give it like 10 degrees in either direction, uh, you can do that. Um, and in a different tutorial, I'll show you how to get your cursor to go away and how to make it uh, lock in the center of the screen and how to undo that while you're playing the game. And it'll make it uh, much easier to play. And you don't have to worry about clicking on things over here later on. I'll do a tutorial on picking up objects. But yep, yeah, that's all we're going to do for now. See you guys in the next video.